Students at White Mountains Regional High School in New Hampshire, United States, have built an automated greenhouse in a project that has come together across disciplines, including computer technology, environmental and sustainability, and mechanics and fabrication. Students have used the Internet of Things, the cloud, and Arduino to connect their learning to the real world by building a working prototype of an industrial scale automated greenhouse. Right, as, as, as the digital landscape's evolving, right, we're, we're seeing more and more of uh, these smart devices, right, in our homes, um, in, our, in our places of work, right, in our places of business. Um, and there's, there's no reason why students shouldn't be exposed to them in their schools. The students should actually have the experience of working with these devices and understanding how they work um, and what they can be used for. Students, in terms of what they actually have to know, right, in terms of barrier to entry is very low because all they have to know is how to interface with the Arduino device I and mean, they can get things quickly up and running. So they had a beautiful cloud interface where they were able to set up and design a thing, um, create the variables that they wanted to go to the cloud and go back to the device. IoT it's made coding a lot easier for the newer generation. Back then you'd have to do all the hard coding yourself, but now part of it's done for you. So it's a lot easier for new people to get into it. So for this project, we hooked up this table with the IoT device. What you see taped to the windows there are our light sensors and then we can have the watering control, we can have additional daylight for the plants to grow. There's a temperature sensor on the wall that is controlling the fan. So I originally started out with programming the light system so the lights would turn on at a certain light level outside. I worked on the watering system and the moisture just making it so they can uh, turn on automatically and turn off automatically. I've been working on a fan, so um, basically it's sensing the temperature and changing it. Not as easily, especially not sharing it. Mm -hmm. Like we shared it around the world and if we didn't, we wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't part of the internet and the cloud. Without the Arduino cloud, we'd have to set up a web server. Arduino, that's just right there. It is important to me that my students walk away both with content, real world experience, and then some soft skills so that they can apply those soft skills to like, any job, any career. Those are something that you need to like build throughout life and that's what really sets you apart usually from others in the workplace. You know, can you be a critical thinker? Can you be an independent learner, but a collaborator? These students are well on their way to learning both the soft skills and STEM skills they need to succeed in the real world. Get started with the IoT and cloud-based learning with Arduino Education.